Welcome back. Now let's discuss about what is aperture. So aperture is all about the amount of light which enters through the lens to the camera. I hope you guys remember that we discussed like in our previous that let's take an example that our head is a camera. Now again camera is a black box. Now as we discussed last time, brain is our film, eye is our lens, eyelid is our shutter. Now this time pupil will be our aperture. So how? Let me explain you. In pupil, like you will see there will be various changes. When we go to huge amount of light, our pupil used to shrink. We used to like we can used to feel or we can see that our pupil will go shorter like it will go it will take shorter in the diameter and when we go to like dark room our pupil will increase so it means to say like pupil allows to enter lots of light huge amount of light but when we are outside in the huge amount of light then where we will find that pupil allows to enter very less amount of light now let me explain you what is aperture in this lens how we are using it so now let's see here you can see the changes changes in the lens when our f-stop increases it means to say it is allowing to in like allowing to enter more amount of light but when it is decreases then it means to say like it allows allows to enter less amount of light so this is only aperture one more thing i would like to discuss with you like f stop what is f stop now again bigger the ring smaller the f stop and smaller the ring that is bigger the f stop now the maximum f stop will be when we are having bigger ring then there will be f stop 2 and when we are having a smaller ring then there will be f stop 16 now we will discuss the combination like how we are going to use it for the capturing beautiful images or pictures.